Forehead too big. What? Oh, this is so much of BS that I decided to do this test again. Because I'm like, there must be some type of mistake. This is not true. There's no way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my last YouTube video. If you haven't, what are you doing? And if you're new, hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nioma, and you know, we kind of do things, kind of do fun things here. Welcome. Um, no, but really, thank you guys for coming back to my video. If you're new, once again, I need you to subscribe, okay? Just join the family. We have a lot of fun here. We have a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to try, and a lot of things to do. So, without further ado, ooh, you see how I'm rhyming here? I need you to subscribe. I'm going to wait for you with my imaginary watch. Can somebody buy me a watch, please? <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm going to wait for you. Okay, cool. Now that we've gotten started, let's really get started. Okay, so today, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be taking the pretty test. What is the pretty test? I don't know, it's just some random test online where you can, I guess, test or measure your prettiness. Now, for me, I'm just like, what is being pretty, number one? How do you define being pretty, number two? Number three, what is the rubric here? What are we scoring this by? Like, wh what are we testing this by? There actually is no explanation, so, we're just gonna try this thing together. Okay, so with that being said, I know by now a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, you have makeup on, you don't even look like yourself. Okay, first of all, I like to think that my makeup accentuates my features. Um, I don't I don't think I'm a catfish, like not at least anyway, but I did do this test three and a half times. I wanna say three and a half just because the other time I, three and a half times, let's go with that. Because I was really uh, stunned by my results. So the first time, of course, I did do it without makeup on, a fresh face. I actually didn't even wash my face at that point. So it was real bare, if, if you will. So let me read my results. I also will have the video playing like here, here, or wherever I have it when I edit this. And we're gonna see, okay? Let's, let's see what how we did. So the first time I did this, as you can see here, I think this idea where they match, they have you match your eyes and your lips and your nose and really measure it in size. I just think that's ridiculous. In my head, I'm kind of just like, are you guys measuring this against European features? Let's see. 51? You are not that bad? Okay, you know what, kill me now. 51, I look, I am 51% pretty. Not even 75, 51%. Let's, let's go through the list here. It says, I have a good face shape, thank you very much. I think I've slimmed down a bit, you know? Girls gain a couple pounds. Not that chubby face is a bad thing. I mean, I have a chubby face. I have a round face, if you will. Forehead too big, what? How's my forehead too big, though? How y'all gonna say my forehead is too big? I don't think I have a big forehead. I don't got a five head. You know, argue with your mom. I don't have a five head, what you talking about? Okay, let's keep going. Wide into wide interocular distance. What does that even mean? Let's, let's do a Google search here. I figured it was this. It is the distance between the centers of rotations of the eyeballs of, of an individual. Uh, so my eyes are too far apart? What? Okay, I have a wide nose. I do not have a wide nose. I think when I smile I do though. Does anyone else have a wide nose too? Like comment in the like the comment section. I want to see if we have some wide nose family. Listen, I'm African, okay? I'm Nigerian to be exact. We are known to have wide noses as well. And proud, okay? <laughs> Team wide nose. Small mouth for nose. How is my mouth too small for my nose? I think I have big lips. What are they talking about? Chin is too small. How is your chin too small? I've never heard that before. Good face symmetry, well, <laughs> you know, at least I got something right, okay? I think I have a good face symmetry, but this is honestly just BS, man. Like, what the heck? So, this is so much of BS that I decided to do this test again, because I'm like, there must be some type of mistake. This is not true. There's no way I'm 51% pretty. Like, that doesn't make sense, bro. Are you with your mom? Like, that does not make any sense. When I did the test again, I, um, as you can see, <laughs> I added a little bit of smirk, you know? You know how in pictures everyone has like their regular face, which is this, like a mugshot? Then you have a little, you know, I kind of did a little bit of that because I'm just like, no, there must be a mistake. Let me make myself, I guess, look prettier and let's see what they say. So it says I am 65% good looking. There's a start, not quite there yet though because I don't think I'm 65% pretty either. I think I'm like a good 85% if you will. Not, you know what, in my eyes, 
in accordance with God. <laughs> God, G-O-D, my father up there. He says I'm 100% pretty looking. That's number one, okay. So it says again that I have a good face shape. It says that my forehead is too big. I really don't know what this beef is between like my forehead and these people because I don't have a big forehead. It's not like they took a profile shot like this and you can see my, my forehead. But I don't think my forehead is too big. Do y'all think my forehead is too big? Like, is it? I don't think so though. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Once again, it says I have a good, int wait, interesting. So the results have changed a bit. It now says that I have a good interocular distance, which doesn't make sense, interocular. I hope I'm saying this right. So between the last one and this one, it says I have a good interlocular distance. So I guess it looks like my eyes are closer now. I don't know, I don't, I don't get the difference. It says that my mouth is too small again for my nose. Doesn't make sense. My chin is too small. And then now it says I have poor face symmetry. This, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, and then when I did this test again, the last time, I did it with a full beat face because I'm like, maybe y'all are saying that, you know, I'm ugly. Like, if I do a little contour, you know, let's see what they say now. So it says I'm 54%, which is actually lower than the second picture I took, so. I have a full face beat on. Now, like, literally, I went from like a good eight to a 10. <laughs> eight, if you will, to a 10. Okay, this is a 10. Argue with your mom once again. This is a 10. A 10. A 10. A 10. A 10. So I just don't understand how y'all think, you know? So it says I have a good face shape once again. So I'm just gonna go with that. I have a good face shape. Normal. Oh, wow. Interesting. This is I have a normal forehead size now interestingly enough i think that this scarf by the way my scarf is from atara avenue my girl kitan she owns it um go shop um i also think that maybe it's because my my scarf kind of covered it a little bit but either way i i don't think that that's a factor when it measures your head and it tells you to put it where your forehead starts i put it up here even though my scarf did cover it so i don't i don't know um it says i have a good nose for my face Small mouth again. I think they just have something against the mouth. I don't know. Chin too small and poor face symmetry. So guys, I don't know. What do you think about this stupid test? I already, listen, I'm not gonna lie. I knew it was stupid, but you know, we all do stupid things sometimes. Sort of like how people would ask other people to rate them. I've honestly always been scared of that kind of thing because it's just like, what if you think I'm ugly? But it's like, what does it matter what you think though? You know, like not that it matters, but like, I just want to know like what you think. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's literally what that is. So I was like, let me just do this stupid test. Let's see how pretty or how ugly I am. So according to this thing here, I don't even think they know because I, I then came out with three different answers of what, of, of, how pretty I am. Oh, interesting. So I forgot to read this part. So two of the results said, I am, you are not that bad. That is the first one I did, the first picture I took, and the last picture I took with makeup on. The middle one, which is where I did a little smirk, <laughs> it says that I am good looking. Interesting. So I wonder what 100% must say that you are gorgeous or you are beautiful or something stupid like that anyway what do you guys think about this would you try this test let me know if you do and tell me in the comments i just want to know clearly this thing is measured off of european features like there's just no way in hell you're gonna tell me any different i hope that you guys like this video let me know what other videos you want to see in my channel i'm gonna try to once again mix it up a little bit i do want to move a little bit away from hair and beauty it's not to say that i'm not gonna do that because guys like what the heck i love hair and beauty it's just that i want to give you guys more options i want to i want to have more of a balance on my page so yeah let me know if there's anything you want me to try anything you want me to do before this video ends i just want to say that it is important first of all to know your beauty and to know your worth and value do not let a stupid website or a stupid boy or a stupid girl tell you how beautiful you are or how ugly you are that should come from within I don't care if it's your mom, your dad, whatever. You literally need to fake it till you make it. If you don't believe it, you gotta start telling yourself in the mirror. You need to give yourself affirmation, okay? Every day, three times, I am beautiful, I am beautiful, I am beautiful. And you could throw a little argue with your mom in there too. You know what I'm saying? Like, because people will literally beat you down. Websites will tell you you're ugly. And the, the list just goes on. But I think that I really wanna encourage you guys to, to do that. You know, like find your beauty, whatever that looks like. And if you don't like something about yourself, change it, you know, and don't feel bad about changing it either. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's that on that. I just want to say that it is harder than you think, guys. I used to think maybe one day I'll talk about this, 
But I used to think I was ugly. I was very sensitive. I was bullied in school. I cried a lot. And um, yeah, it was some really cruel, depressing years for me. And people made fun of me. Like, I mean, the list goes on. And I didn't see my beauty. And what was so weird is that my mom would always tell me I was beautiful. And my mom's friends, like, you know, aunties and uncles, they'd always say, oh my God, your daughter's so beautiful, your daughter's so beautiful. And I just didn't see it. And that's the other thing too, it does suck when people tell you you're beautiful but you don't see it. And then you start to think that they're lying or they're just trying to be nice about things. So whatever it is, no matter how long it takes, no matter what the process looks like, find that beauty in you. It's so important and I just wanted to say that. But once again though, if you guys do want to hear more about my bullying story or how I, you know, gain confidence, even though it is still a struggle for me to have confidence, believe it or not. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I would probably love to talk about my, my bullying story one day if you guys care to know. So yeah, all right, see you guys later, bye. Before this video ends, I need you to subscribe, okay? This was not free, okay? It was free. That's why you should just do something else for free, for me at least, because I did, did, this, did this for y'all. At least subscribe. Just, you know, click that red button. Nobody gotta die, you know what I mean? Like, nobody's gonna get hurt. You just, you just click the button and I think it just lets you know when I have a new video. Turn on your post notifications if you're feeling kind of generous, <laughs> you know, and yeah. <laughs> okay, let me really go now. This is ridiculous. I gotta go edit this. Like, I literally gotta go and edit the video, so let me go do that. Bye. <laughs>